guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's Marisa. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, so, I have a lot to show you today. Uh, so the title of my video is All My New Art Materials. And then we're going to be doing uh, a little painting uh, with my new tool. Now, it's not new, just meaning it's new to me. Okay, let me get that clear. Uh, I'm sure hundreds, if not thousands of people have used this before. It's a little dustpan. I always thought it was so um, cool that how the paint slides off the uh, little dustpan onto the canvas. But I personally never tried it before. So I am not saying I created this whatsoever, <laughs> this idea. Um, so many people have so, had so many wonderful ideas. I want to find something new to do, you know. That is actually one of my goals is to find an object or find a way to, you know, a new tool, something, something different, something new. So, but I, for me, I've never used um, a little dustpan before or a big dustpan, um, yeah, to use for painting. But I'll show you that because a lot of you may not know what the heck I'm talking about. But I will show you that in a little while. So that's one of my new things that I am doing. So, uh, my last video, I went to Michael's. But I also, and I did a small haul there because, quite frankly, I've been home on Amazon like an idiot, uh, buying all kinds of stuff. But not like an idiot because there's things I wanted to try and things I needed to continue painting, obviously. So let's, I guess, start to the left. Let's get that a little straighter there. There we go. So I got a whole bunch of canvas. Um, I have tons of canvases back there. I have all different sizes. I got, um, six by six. This is a six by six. And this is actually, I made this using the, um, the dustpan. So that's a six by six. I got five by seven here. I really like these. I think these are so cute. I love those. And I got these here from uh, the Dollar Tree. These are much cheaper, obviously. Um, they're very thin. They, I, they're very flimsy, honestly. Um, but uh, I think these would be cute to give as gifts, like kind of like a Christmas card painting. You know, instead of giving a card, I could actually make an individual painting for my family and friends um, as gifts. So, it, you know, it's a little more substantial than a card. Um, but, yeah, but these are, like, I would, like, never sell this. You know, these are just very uh, thin. If someone actually buy one of my paintings, that would be nice. But, um, yeah. So, all right. So, let's go on. All right, it's this way. So, as you saw in my other video, if you saw it, and if you didn't, I'll link it right up here. I went to Michael's, and I got uh, a little set of neons. They're literally almost done, because I used it, but they're small little tubes. So, you got the green, and they, we're actually using these today, so that's perfect. So, I'll go over that later, but those are neons from... Um, Artist Loft. It was only $7.99. I feel let me try the other colors because I tried the pink, which I'm in love with. Um, I use this in a lot of my paintings. I love that color, but I never tried their other neon. So I said, you know what, let me, for $7.99, let me give it a whirl. And let's see. I got this. This is uh, Iridescent Medium. And actually... What I did was in this painting, see the iridescent? Yeah, this is the little ring from the cup when I kind of laid it down. I don't know how to get rid of that. I, maybe I'll spray it with water in the back, but that kind of annoys me. But um, I'll figure that out. But yeah, that's right. But, so that is using um, the neon colors 
mixed with the iridescent. So it does make it a little bit more pastel. Um, and then I also use, what did I use? I, th I don't know if I, I forget if I, I think I use deco art. I use deco art, uh, mixed with the iridescent medium, just like a little drop, like maybe an inch of the iridescent medium. Um, and then I mix those two together first, the deco art and the iridescent, and I mix that together and paint, and then I kind of adjusted the deco art to the consistency I need it. Alrighty. And let's see, we got some, the Artist Love Pouring Medium, which I do like. Um, let's see. And this, I got these. I never tried these before. I tried Deco Art before, but not the Extreme Sheen. What, num what, what number? Uh, pink Tourmaline. What name? All right. Pink Tourmaline. And Amethyst. Yeah, those are really pretty. I wanted to try. And that's actually this in here the amethyst, but uh, when I poured this, I realized that the um, deco art is a little thick, so I have to, I have to adjust, I actually did adjust it, uh, made it a little more fluid, but no, I, I kind of like that, it gives it a cool little different look to paintings. And oh, I bought this a while ago, but I never use it. I'm saving for the holidays. This is a holly branch. This is apple barrel paint. Not my favorite brand, but the paint, um, the paint is not bad for what it is. I think this cost me like 50 cents. So I, I tried it. It's 50 cents or a dollar on Amazon. Um, yeah, but the paint is not bad. It's just the... You're, I think I've said, I don't know how many times in videos, I don't like apple barrel pouring medium. <laughs> but um, let's see, I got white paint because, you know, we use a lot of that. I need a lot of that. So I got the Flow Acrylic by Artist Loft. And it was only $10 for this big old uh, whole quart. So that's awesome. <clears throat> let's see. And I already showed you these, but this is pretty new. The Serum Coat. And I got another white because I really like this paint. This paint I like. Uh, it's by Delta Creative Serum Coat. I really like this paint. Um, and then in black, and I just got an, I got an extra one of the white. And let's see. And I finally, finally got some resin. I so I had asked so many people at which resin they used. And everyone has their favorites out there, you know? So I just kind of picked one. I didn't know which one to choose, to be quite honest with you. I remember, oh yeah, Art and Glow. Epoxy Resin. And I like this one because it has a 40-minute work time. And it really doesn't have much of a, you don't have to wear a mask. Um, none of that. It's low odor. I didn't even smell anything. Um, so that's the resin. And that's the hardener. So I'll show you the what I did with it. And I, it definitely needs another coat. Um, but for this is my first, first, first try ever touching resin. Um, and that's why I wanted to get one that had a longer time to work with. Because I think some of them, you only have like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And especially if you're working on a big painting. But I definitely wasn't going to start with a big painting when I've never used it before. So... I don't know if you could see that. The light is bad. Let's see if you could see that. That kind of sucks. Hold on. Let me see if you can see that. No. Oh, yeah. Here you go. But, um, yeah, honestly, for like a first try, there are a couple. Oh, and there's fingerprints on it. How wonderful. Um, I'm going to wipe that down, obviously, before I do my next coat. Um, but there are a couple of spots on there that I didn't get, but I think that happens with everybody. Um, honestly, for a first try, it came out clear. I think I did a pretty good job, you know, as far as the mixing, because that's really the most important point is the mixing and the temperature in the room. So, um, yeah. So, you know, the, the temperature was perfect to do it. So I tried it. 
And yeah, it didn't come out bad at all. I just This is a couple of spots I need to fix. And if you saw my other video from the other day, I got this. And my husband does watch all my videos, so he has no idea what I'm going to make with this. But I am going to make him a little frame. And I'm going to put our picture in here. And I'll show you that when I am done with it. I don't know if I'm going to do that on camera, but, you know, who knows? We'll see. I'm definitely going to add a little maybe Christmassy, um, you know, crafty things possibly. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's cute. And I found this and some Dollister in my house. I was thinking about, you know, painting that. Um, it does have, like, it's, I don't know what the heck this material is. It's probably, like, uh, what is it called? Like, pressed wood. Um, I'll probably have to like sand that down a little bit because it does have like a sheen to it before I paint because the paint probably won't stick on that. And for $5.99, I got this big old 25 piece uh, set of brushes. I know you guys have never seen me actually use a brush, but quite frankly, uh, it's only been pretty recent, what, like maybe four or five months ago. Um, I always use a brush when I paint it. I, I'll actually one day show you some of my older paintings I used to do. Um, it just, it was just basically my, I saw my art going in the direction of it wanting to be more fluid. And I wanted a more like kind of drippy effect. I do do abstract art no matter what. Um, but. It just it was leaning more towards fluidity, and I just said, and I just started researching it, and I found all these fluid artists. I'm like, oh my god, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So, uh, but I do use brushes. So, and I got whoop, I got some gloves finally. Um, yeah. So, and of course, I forget to use them because I'm so used to not using gloves. And anything, uh, it's hard to remember. <laughs> so I don't know why the heck I bought them. But yeah, sometimes I remember. Um, so, all right. So that is my little haul. These are the new things I bought. Oh, yeah. And I just got some new gas. That's not that's not interesting. For my, <laughs> for my, uh, for my torch, oh, it's already filthy. All right. So, all right. So next up is what we're going to be doing today and I'll quickly go over um, the paints and what we're going to be doing. Okay, so stick around. I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, I'm back. All right, so we are going to do a little, I don't know what kind of pour this is called, but I'm calling my dustpan pour. I don't know what everyone else calls it, but yeah, I guess you know, basically... You fill the paint in here, you pour it in here, I start from the back, and you have to be careful that it doesn't slide out this way, uh, I just can't overdo it, and obviously if you want to do a bigger um, painting, you should get a bigger pan, and basically it's kind of cool, it just slides off, very gently off, and it actually keeps the same shape with however you put it in the pan. It's I always thought that was awesome. So I'm going to try that. I just tried it, like I said, the other day, and I really love it. So we're going to use an 8x10 canvas. Okie dokie. And we're going to use the Artist Loft uh, Neon Set that I just bought. All right. So we got the pink. We got the neon pink, neon green, neon blue, neon yellow, neon violet, and neon orange all in these cups. Already mixed and ready to go. Okay. And in the cups, actually, I have a little bit of Floetrol in the bottom of each cup just to like cover the bottom of the cup. Nothing more than that. Then I put the paint in. I mix that up. And then, oh, I forgot to put it out. And then I used um, Deco Art as well to make it more fluid, okay? So that's what is in each cup. I don't think there's any, no, I don't think I add any water. And uh, there is no silicone, okay? And then for any edges um, left, I like the other painting, I'm going to use any 
any black. I'm going to use, <laughs> I can't speak today. I'm going to use some black. And in here, in this dirty little bottle, I just have the uh, Delta Creative Serum Coat mixed with a uh, float troll. Okay, and I believe I did put a little water in that. Um, I mixed that a little while ago. I think I have water in there, but not much. And that is what we're doing today. Okay, so let's get going. I've talked long enough. I'm surprised you guys watch my videos because I talk too much. But I am so grateful to you for watching. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get started in three, two, one.
Hey guys, I am back. So I let this sit for about a good 10-15 minutes and I got some surprises, which I am really, really uh, uh, happy about. So uh, first of all, just letting you know, on this side here, uh, the black paint was kind of thin, so I went back off camera and I just kind of added a little black just to this corner and I then I tilted a little bit to run some of it off. And yes, yeah, so that's all I did. And then I hit it again actually with the, um, the torch because uh, maybe it's because there's like two pouring mediums in there and there was like a lot of bubbles for some reason and maybe I mixed it. I mix it too fast, so usually I don't get a lot of um, air bubbles, but I notice some more. So off camera, I just hit it with the torch again, because, you know, you don't need to see me hit the torch a million times. <laughs> All right, so over here, there's some really cool cell action going on, and over here, I just like the way this really came out. Um, Usually I wouldn't have tilted it that much and to kind of keep that weird shape of with the little dustpan. But I don't know, it's kind of going with the moment. And let me see if I could zoom that in for you. There you go. Yeah, right here is some pretty cool cells going on. The uh, blue and the pink mixed. Um, I didn't get a lot of the violet in there because I was actually at the beginning of the pan. Um, there's some like really a little bit down here, but regardless of that, I am really, really happy with this painting. I love this and I love this technique and yeah, I just, uh, I'm enjoying this. This is awesome. I love neons. Um, not everyone loves neons, but I do. I think I'm in a neon mood because I'm helping my son with a project for his uh, school. He's doing a, a whole, you guys saw it before, um, and actually I continued with it. He's doing a project about music in the 60s and how, you know, the 60s affected music and the people and this, the times and all that. So um, that's his project. He's in high school. Yeah, so I'm kind of like in this very neon, psychedelic mood, I think, with the black and the bright colors, the contrast. But anyway, that is it for today, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this painting. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.